Okay then, in this video we will discuss polylines in leaflet. So if you don't know what a polyline geometry is, it is a continuous line. So I can sh demonstrate this one um, using examples. So for instance, I'm right now in the geojson.io website and in here we have a tool that allows us to draw a polyline. So if I click on that and then if I start drawing, so it draws a polyline for us. So this is a polyline. It's a continuous line and it's a bit different to line. So the difference between line and polyline is polyline consists of several lines. So for instance in here we have one line, second line, third line. So and that's why it's called it continue I'm sorry it's called it polyline um, geometry. So now if I just stop this line and then if I draw a second line, this would be multi-polyline because they are not interconnected, they are separate. That's why it's called it multi-polyline. So I think it's um, very easy to understand. So, so now let's discuss how to implement uh, polyline in leaflet. So um, to demonstrate this one, I would like to first explain um, uh, how to implement that one uh, in theory, like using uh, leaflet documentation. So that's why I am in the leaflet official documentation and let's go to the polyline. And it says a polyline is a class for drawing polyline overlays on a map and it extends pass. So this pass is an abstract class. So polyline um, is derived from this abstract pass class. So that means it inherits all the you know, uh, pass properties, methods, etc. And you can have a look into pass class. So if I click to that one, so it takes us, so it didn't take us to the pass, so it's just above the polyline. So this one is pass. So pass is an abstract class that contains options and constants shared between vector overlays. So polygon, polyline, circle. So that means these ones, polygon, polyline, circle, they are derived from this pass class. So and that's why it inherits these options, events, and methods available in the pass class. So I think this makes sense. So now let's have a look how to implement polyline in leaflet. So all you need to do is you need to specify your um, coordinates, so latitude and longitude, and then you need to, and they need to be in the array. So this one is a one array and it should be in the outer array. So then um, you need to define your uh, polyline object and you do it by calling l.polyline class and then you need to pass your latitude and longitude values and then you can specify some other options and you finally add it to your map. So these options, you can find them in here. So options like these ones. So these options are inherited from pass. So like, you know, styling options. So other options inherited from interactive layer and from layer. And then from here, it starts talking about events and methods. So now let's implement this. Um, so let's implement this. And finally, by the way, they have this one, map fit bounds. So that means it just um, shows, so it just uh, zooms to the uh, polyline and then it just shows you when you refresh the map. So I can show this one. So let's implement this very quickly. So for that, let's go to our code. And we can now get rid of our previous examples. So for instance, geolocation API, we don't need this one anymore. So I can get rid of this. And I can also get rid of our distance calculation demonstration. So including including these ones, so, and even this. So now let's implement this polyline. So what we need is, first of all, we need latitude and longitude values, right? And then we can actually use this example instead of typing it. We just copy this, 
this. So that would be our latitude and longitude values. So now we just create a, an object uh, of the l.polyline class. So we'll say l.polyline and then we pass latitude and longitude values to this class and then we can specify color. So color spelling is very important. It's not American, it's American spelling, not British. So, so make sure that your spelling is correct. So red, so red is fine. So then let's add it to our map. So add to my map. And finally, if we want, we can also do the same one like, you know, fit bounds. So my map fit bounds and then we need to get the boundary of the polyline that's why we'll say hey get the boundary and then fit to that boundary or show that boundary so get bounds like this so now we should have our polyline on top of our base map so yes we do so this is our polyline that we added but it's very boring because we're not adding this one dynamically by drawing. We're just, you know, like it's a hard coded polyline. We can also implement a dynamic uh, drawing of polylines. So there are several ways to do that. For instance, the first one would be you implement your uh, draw polyline utility yourself, or you can use a plugin called draw l dot draw i think or leaflet dot draw plugin so we'll talk about that plugin later on but right now i would like to show you how to implement um you know a simple utility or simple tool that allows you to draw uh, polylines on top of the map so for i will i would like to show that one to you first i mean the end result so for instance in here that's my i click it once and then I'm clicking it again, second time. It's drawing a lot. Um, it's it's a line for now. So now it's polyline. So you see, if I just keep click, uh, if I keep clicking, it's just drawing uh, a polyline for me on top of uh, on top of map. So that would be very simple demonstration. So let's implement this. So for that, what we need is we need to go to our code and we can say um, first of all what we need is we need um, an array that holds our coordinates right so that's why we need to create uh, an array and it, sh it should not be const because we're gonna add some coordinates to this so, so that's why it should be variable so or var so we'll just say line coordinates you can call whatever you like so then it will be equal to just it's it's gonna be just an empty um, array for now so now let's uh, create our polyline object so because this one we don't I don't want to use this we, I just want to create a separate one so that's why I'm creating a another variable or object yeah so l dot polyline and then for now um, it's gonna have an empty you know coordinates nothing because later on we'll add dynamic once we draw polylines we're gonna add uh, coordinates into this array dynamically okay so we'll just say color let's make it yeah okay red is fine so then add to my map so that's fine. Even if it's empty, we can add it to map. So now let's implement, you know, click function. Uh, sorry, click event. So whenever there is a click event, so get the coordinate, push it to our, you know, coordinates uh, array, and then we just need to uh, display it on the map. So let's do that. So I'll say my map on click. So function. So, and then we'll say let, so because it's gonna be you know temporary variables, so because on each click it's gonna create a separate 
you know, variable. That's why let is, I think, fine in here. So we'll say let lng, and then we'll say, hey, push it to our coordinates array. So to this one. So dot push. And then we just need to pass our, you know, latitude and longitude. So basically, what we're doing here: click event, and then on each event, uh, on each click, we're just getting the latitude and longitude values, and we're just pushing it to our line coordinates array. So now, what we need to do is, in order to draw a polyline, we need to have at least two points. All right. So that's why we need if statement. We just say if line coordinates lengths is bigger than or larger and greater than one so because um, array starts counting the counting from zero so the first uh, first item would be zero second item would be one so that's why if it has two items so then length should be one that's that's appropriate so so now we just say hey I wanna if if the length is greater than one draw polyline but right now we need to use um, we need to use a method call it lat set lat longitude so I will just implement this and I will explain this to you so set latitude and longitude and then we just copy this and then we just pass this one to this set latitude and longitude method. So let's discuss that set latitude and longitude uh, method. So if you scroll down, there is a method call it set lat longs. So that means it replaces all the points in the polyline with the given array of geographical points. So that's what we need because uh, on each click we need to you know update our points in the polyline so that's why we should use this method and that's what we did so now if i just click so that's my first click you don't see it but you can hear it so my this would be my second click now it's drawing it, it's starting to draw so now it's second third fourth five fifths so you see so and it keeps uh, drawing of course you cannot finish it because we didn't implement that functionality so but basically this is very you know like very very basic uh, implementation of the uh, you know drawing polylines example or drawing polylines dynamically example so basically that's it regarding this video and i will see you in the next one